Rolex. Rolex is a popular Ugandan street food. This is chapati rolled on eggs and very yum. Hello lovelies. Welcome back to Service Delete. It's been a while and uh, today I'm here again with another new recipe. This is amazing recipe. I want to take you through how I make my uh, Rolex. Rolex is a chapati rolled in an omelet egg. This is a quick fix for breakfast in, and it's quite filling. So if you have uh, some leftover chapatis, I think this is the best way to warm your chapatis. So let's get started. Did I mention this is an easy recipe that anybody can do it? Yes, it's a simple, it's very simple. I'm just going to take you through a very simple recipe. So we will be using limited spices. I only have a onion, bulb on one bulb onion. If you can get spring onions, the better, and some coriander, and of course chili. Me, I'm a chili person, and eggs. I will just. I'm going to use three eggs. This recipe calls for just two key ingredients, that is eggs and chapati. I'll crack my eggs and put aside. And uh, go ahead and prepare this fresh ingredient. You can add tomatoes if you want. Rolex is a popular Ugandan street food, commonly found in Ugandan streets. And uh, it's like the likes of gonja and that uh, roasted um, roasted chicken. I heard the name Rolex came from someone who could not pronounce rolled eggs well. <laughs> and that's how the name has stuck there. Rolex. <laughs> Instead of rolled eggs. If you are clicking my video for the first time and you find this kind of content helpful, kindly consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up, and you can even share this video with your friends to let my video get known. And uh, watch the video up to the end if you want to know how I achieved this Rolex. It's very delicious. It's very simple and you should try it. You will love it. That one I'm sure of. I will drop everything in my bowl of uh, eggs. You can add some more chili. This is optional. This is cayenne pepper and some black pepper. But then, did I tell you this recipe is good for hangover, some salt, if you know, you know. It's a Sunday morning and if you feel like your head is uh, heavy a little bit, you can fix this. It will unlock that lock there. Like I mentioned earlier, I hope I did mention this recipe calls for leftover chapatis. So this is a way of warming chapatis. I 
I'm going to fry my eggs in a medium low heat. Just add a little oil in your non-stick pan. Actually, this is a lot. I'll remove it, kidogo. Add in your eggs. And since I add a lot of onions, it doesn't spread easily. I have to spread it like so, so that the onions get to cover every part of the egg. I like my eggs done well both sides. At this point now you can add in your chapati. Chapati is a flat traditional bread. Then flip it for the chapati to get some warmth. This one you can do in less than uh, one minute. At this point, you can add some tomatoes, your chopped tomatoes if you want, then roll it. Since the chapati is too hot for my hands, I'm using this spatulas to help me roll it out and then it's ready. We're doing a second one. I've just cleared my, my pan. It was a little bit messy. <coughs> Adding the remaining eggs and repeat the same process. Like I said, I like my I like my eggs done well both sides. So I'm going to flip it. And let the other part cook too. And I also like my onions to be a little bit sauteed. So add in your chapati. Flip it. And uh, let your chapati warm up for one minute. Then roll it using your spatula or you can remove it and roll it out once it's uh, a little bit cool. can see the chapati is soft layered. Chapati is well warmed. You can't tell it has been in the fridge for the past five days. Let's see how inside looks. Wow. So yummy, delicious. And it's very filling. If you eat this one, one is just enough for the whole day. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching my video up to this end. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.